Oh, this is a... Uh, the indoors look amazing. Here are the gray beards. They got some gray beards. So, a dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. And you call me Dragonborn. What does that mean? First, let us see if you truly are Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Right then. Shout at us. Let us taste of your voice. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Alrighty then. Ha ha ha. Dragonborn, it is you. <laughs> Welcome so. to High Hrothgar. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn. Why have you come here? I'm answering your summons, Master. We are honored to welcome a Dragonborn to High Hrothgar. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. What is my destiny? That is for you to discover. We can show you the way, but not your destination. Who are you? What is this place? We are the Greybeards, followers of the Way of the Voice. You stand in High Hrothgar, on the slopes of Kinarith's sacred mountain. Here we commune with the voice of the sky and strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer selves. I want to find out what it means to be dragonborn. We are here to guide you in that pursuit, just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the dragon blood that came before you. You mean I'm not the only Dragonborn? You are not the first. There have been many of the Dragon Blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only Dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. I am ready to learn, my master. You have shown that you are Dragonborn have the inborn gift, but do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? That remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Gro, the second word in unrelenting force. Gro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Hmm. Oh. Oh man. Uh. Okay. We learned a new word. But learning a word of power is only the first step. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. Thank you, uh, Master Einar.
Bu arada. Use your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. Fuss, fuss, blow! Well done. Again. Fuss, blow! Oh, I'm sorry, fellas. <laughs> you learn quickly. Once more. <clears throat> oh, okay. Liz Lydia is probably like thinking, "What the heck's going on here?" Trying to get these uh pots just to go crazy. Impressive. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragon. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Boy. It's interesting actually that you can oh wait. So I can't like move move these things. And usually they don't um Maybe I'm just like being silly. Wait. Like usually if you can't pick it up, it's static. It's like I'm wondering if like they specifically like put like movable movable parts here just so you can like mess things up with your voice. Gotta go back in the cold again. I wonder what Lydia thinks of all of our talent. Oh god, it's loud. Stop shouting. Master Bori will teach you wool, which means whirlwind. Just speaks his uh, words onto the ground. Before you can project it into a form. Approach Master Bori. You again? Now we will see how quickly a new shot. Master Wolfgar will demonstrate world in sprint. Then it will be your turn. Master Bori. Oh! Huh, that's proof. It's pretty crazy. Stand next to me. Mr. Bori will open the gate. Well, let's uh select that, I guess. Oh wait, no. Um wait. Okay, here we are. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. <laughs> nice little dash. Your mastery of a new thumb is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn. But to see it for myself? I don't know how I do it. It just happens. You were given this gift by the gods for a reason. It is up to you to determine how best to use it. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ostengrad. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. Why are the dragons returning? Does it have something to do with me? No doubt. The appearance of a dragon born at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. 
You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. Thank you, Master. I will continue my training. Good. Then you will be ready for whatever lies ahead. Why are shouts in dragon language? Dragons have always been able to shout. Language is intrinsic to their very being. There is no difference in the dragon tongue between debating and fighting. Shouting comes as naturally to a dragon as breathing or speaking. In mythic times, when mortal kind was in great need, the goddess Kinnereth granted us the ability to speak as dragons do. For most people, long years of training are required to learn even the simplest shout. But for you, the dragon speech is in your blood, and you learn it almost without effort. There are only four of you? Five. Our leader, Parthenax, lives alone on the peak of the throat of the world. When your voice can open the path, you will know you are ready to speak to him. Who was Jorgen Windcaller? He was a great war leader of the ancient Nords, a master of the voice or tongue. After the disaster at Red Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated, he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. He finally came to realize that the gods had punished the Nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice. He was the first to understand that the voice should be used solely for the glory and worship of the gods, not the glory of men. Jürgen Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition, and the way of the voice was born. When can I meet your leader, Parthenax? As I said, you will know you are ready when your voice can open the path to him. Alrighty then. Breath and focus. Hopefully this wasn't too overwhelming for you, Lydia. But basically I'm gonna be the savior of this little little place. So Parthenox is hanging out up there. We might be able to see him someday. But now is not that day. I'm wondering what exactly that is that I'm looking at. That's likely solitude. Possibly. Oh, of course, that, that's uh, that's White Run. So small from this far away is everything we've ever known. So now we've got to go back down. Oh yeah, here's the uh, the path to the summit. Step ow. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Burning. It's like, st stand by the fire to get off our exposure or whatever. We have the Greybeards that basically said, yo, yo, you're the, uh, the Dragonborn. And, um, one last task is to, uh, get the Horn of Jurgen Windcaller from, uh, this dungeon. And so that's what we're gonna do. Oh god. Alright, oh god. So... So that's what happens when we try to get through the, uh... To the summit, basically, just... Will not let us go. Did that hurt us at all? I'm wondering if that did bad things to our temperature. That's really weird. The fire is, like, kind of, like, see-through. Look, it's been nearly a day. A 
Hello, Wolfgar. Basically, they won't really speak to you at all because, uh, I think, um, that Eingear fellow, he's the only fellow that'll actually really talk to you because, uh, either because he's either the weakest or the strongest of them all because if the other ones were to speak I'm pretty sure they would they would like kill you or something I'm not actually sure if I should sleep I'm wondering if I should just uh, make the return at night and it'd be really, really thrilling and epic. <sighs> we'll no doubt see another troll. Oh gosh, this is beautiful. I just try to get that okay, that we don't have um to really deal with reading the emblems, so let's just try to get down as fast as possible. We're probably gonna be going to get get the horn immediately. Instead of like doing side stuff, I'll probably actually just go get the horn. Cause I'm pretty sure once I get the horn, I'll probably be able to get that a lot more uh, shout stuff. Cause uh, all I can do right now is my uh, my first row. When we get the last letter of Unrelenting Force, that's gonna be some w wicked stuff. I just do want there to be another troll. Oh, look at this! I've been playing a lot of Kerbal Space Program. And I'm um, like messing around with like, uh, you know, at mods that like change the atmosphere. Oh man, is this like a like a, uh, a band that's like leaving or whatever? We could totally leave together. That's awesome. Need something? Oh, I don't want to. No, I don't. I don't want to hurt you. Hmm? Oh, it's Nelikar. You. So he must be like programmed to like just walk back and forth. Yes. Like seeing these auroras, just, just beautiful, just mind-boggling, be mind mind-bogging, mind-boggingly beautiful. <laughs> Where's a uh, Lydia? All right, we could just technically just try to, you know. Game our game our way down, kind of like shuffle along the slope a little bit. And at one point, we'll likely be getting a shout that um, there's a shout that makes you like temporarily invincible. And it can be used to like negate your fall damage, so it could be it's really good for like getting down. This mountain really quickly. Like for as much as like the graphics on Skyrim have sort of aged a little bit, like especially like with that long distance stuff. Oh, N but no, not this. I, I, where's Lydia? We might be screwed. We might be utterly screwed. Alright, oh, please just don't see me. Uh, if he goes away, 
then I'm, then I'm glad. Well, we've had some... Like, I seriously did not uh, kill my first dragon until I was at least, like, level 20 or something in my first playthrough. Oh, that's getting... We're getting cold. Probably put like a tent or something now. Actually, let's just see. Emblem 3. Alright, so that's actually pretty good. The emblems can sort of like tell. tell you where you are, if that makes sense. We're all saying, friggin', for as much as, like, the graphics have aged, like, looking at the long distance view, and how, like, things don't really look very good long distance, friggin', the sky, like, seeing the moon earlier, seeing, like, the, the clouds, the orange tent and whatnot when it's the evening, and these auroras are awesome. Oh, gosh. Well, here's here's Iverstead, so where's Lydia? Oh gosh. <laughs> 